we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Amen. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, 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 amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, amen. Lord, we praise you, Lord, we praise you, Lord, we praise you, amen. Hallelujah.
worship with you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, living God. We worship you, precious Jesus. We worship you, precious Jesus. We worship you, mighty Jesus. We worship you, eternal Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. We praise you, Lord. We honor you, King of glory. We magnify you, Jesus. Lira mahande bro sukanda bahalia. Rebroto sukaba de libra de ge maha de ge. Mozoglo brikalima santa. Yeri mama sheli bro daka. Rekele brukali kribro sukapa tekea. Oh, we worship your majesty. We worship your king of glory. We worship you, eternal God. We exalt you, prince of peace. We worship you, Jehovah. Rimahande, Rimahande, Meleke den de boca here. Rikale bahadibro su kamanda plilatayaha. Come on, we worship him. We worship you, God of heavens. We worship you, the great redeemer. We worship you, the prince of peace. We worship you, the Lord of lords. What a great God. What a mighty God. Awesome in your ways. Beautiful in all that you do. We adore you, Jesus. We praise you. Hali kade moho doba. Riba de ge li mahadia. Rima de ge de bo zugaba de. Rapelika. Rapelika. Merekele. Zuglabe. Rikele mo sun tahia. Marabade. Marabade. Zoglobra de kelia labra kandaya. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. Zuzabadi kilima santaya. Oh, your glory fills this house. Your presence fills this house. Your anointing fills this house. Your peace fills this house. Your blessing fills this house. Cover this house with your glory. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Let, let's cover the whole place with the blood of Jesus. And we pray for the hand of God in this meeting. He says, and I do know that I know that I know that I know in this word. He says, without me, you can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. He says, it is not by power. It is not by might. It is by my spirit. It is the spirit of Jesus that leads us, that helps us, that coordinates us, that works everything for our own good. So we just ask that the presence of the Lord will fill this house and this service, that his presence, all we need is his glory. Open your mouth and let us pray. Kapate, kapate, libro da sila brada, marakala de calabro sula brada lia, eri la masanderi ala barabakore, Regle de brosu kapaka tande li yala barabasita. Rima mama masentia. Mokoloba katande li gle de brosu lo blada. Yeri la brasa la bradelia. Moroglo bra katande li yala brada. Zegi, zegi, zugaza, zagaze kazia. Oh, that your glory will fill this house. We cannot do without you, Spirit of God. We cannot do without you, Holy Spirit. Therefore, we ask you, Spirit of Jesus, we ask you, precious Jesus. We ask you, mighty Jesus. Karimos, Labra, fill this place with your glory. Fill this place with your presence. Fill this place with your power. Fill this place with your anointing. Fill this place, oh God. We cannot do without you, Spirit of God. Come heal the sick. Come set the captives free. Come bless us, oh God. Renew our days, oh God. Lara Mahadigere Brosoto Lobrada. We know you are able to do that in Jesus' name. It is only the Spirit of God that convicts people to come to church. He says, my spirit will draw them. There are people that are on their bed. It's getting cold. There are leaves in about. I'm supposed to die. Should I not? There are people that need to be here today because destiny, destiny calls for them. We are going to pray that the Holy Spirit of God will pull them in and give them safe travel to get to this place. Open your mouth and pray. Our Father, this morning, we break every stubborn heart, every stubborn spirit. 
We break every spirit that resists your will, resists your word, resists your plan. We break their power over any man, any woman. Father God, nobody can come except you draw them. I ask you, Holy Spirit, nobody can come except you draw them. Nobody can come except you draw them. Pull them in by your spirit. Draw them in by your spirit. My Father, my God, thank you for answering us in Jesus' name. Just stretch your hands and pray for me while I pray for you that God will give you strength. As you pray for me, that God will give me strength as I minister this morning. Just keep praying for me. Father, I pray for every worker. I pray for every leader. I commend them into your hands. I pray for them. I pray for you. That the hand of God will rest on you. That God will give you strength. That God will give you wisdom. God will give you understanding. That the spirit of the Jesus will use you. I pray for you. That everything that you do here this morning will bring the glory of God. Will bring the glory of God down. I pray for you for wisdom. I pray for you for understanding. I pray the Holy Spirit of God will rest on you. I pray the anointing of God will rest on you to do good this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Before, before I go on, I want, to, I want to thank especially the, the children, pastors and leaders, the children, workers. You know, I, I kept meditating and thinking about the people that work in the children's department. They're almost like the people that look after cars out there. Sometimes when you are in the, in the children's ministry, if you are not strong, if you are not strong, you will feel very neglected. You will feel that you are not part of the system, part of the team. You know, because you hang in with the kids week in, week out, week in, week out. Yes, you see those children grow. You know, but nobody sees you. Nobody pats you on the back. You know, nobody visits you. We don't even visit you. You know, so I've already said and um, it's discussed with um, Simba uh, that I will go and visit the kids today, come and pray with them, just come and fellowship with them a little bit um, while you are busy doing your things before I join you just to encourage them and let them know that they are part of the team and you are part of the system and we really appreciate what you are doing with these children. It's not easy. You know, I've always wondered how you deal with them, how you manage them. You have um, close to 300 kids. You have close to 300 kids and everywhere, everywhere. For me, I'll just give you drugs to sleep. I'll just give you like a uh, whiskey. All the three children will sleep till the end of the service. We we'll wake you up and we we'll go because that noise. But somebody must have grace. Amen. Somebody must have grace to go. And we want to appreciate the workers in the children's department. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I did a burial yesterday and it broke my heart. It broke my heart. One of our sons here, you know, well, used to be because I saw him growing up him growing up and uh, last week he committed suicide and he, he hung himself and he stood in the church and you hear uh, people testifying talking about how is it the Lord how is it the Lord and I you know me and I got up and say hey leave that is with the Lord problem man that's not <laughs> the truth about it is that this man has gone to face judgment and um, he will pay the price. Nobody takes his life. God gives it. Now it brings me to what I'm talking about. Listen to me. Even as a Christian, our life is, is God, God is a wise God. Our, God revolve, our life revolves around relationship. Our life revolves around relationship and friendship. And uh, we should not take relationship and friendship for granted. Why am I saying that? There are some of you or some of us that are islands to ourselves. And uh, we, 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 we don't have friends. I don't care what you think or what you say. It is right to have friends. Amen. 
I know church people complain. Hey, these people will talk about me. Listen, even if you don't come out, they will talk about you. So, so many people have been de are depressed. So many people have lost, lost the zeal for life because Satan has cornered them to one side. Satan has cornered them, cornered them to one side. And because the devil has succeeded in cornering them to one side, he decides their lives for them. Am I making sense? You see young people depressed, old people depressed. You see people in a corner because they have closed themselves to life. And life is about relationship. What gives life is iron sharpened iron. What gives life is relationship. You must have friends. I'm not just talking about your wife. You must open up yourself. The world is full of beautiful things out there. There are beautiful people out there. There are wonderful people that can contribute to your life and be a blessing to you. So the, the irony of it, the wickedness of the devil is that Satan corners us. Amen, somebody? Satan corners us in a particular place and begins to feed us himself. He takes over our identity, takes over our mind, takes over everything, and the pain, the pain in it is that cell phone has become the, 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 the most destroying tool of the devil. Cell phone has become the husband and the wife and the boyfriend and the girlfriend of a lot of people. It is in cell phone that Satan can communicate with you without showing up. Because you can Google, you can travel to China and back in your room. So we have people that have been destroyed, wives and husbands are, have been destroyed. Women are marrying people on cell phones, have relationship. We call it Facebook. So people prefer to discuss with people they don't know, they've not seen, than having friends. Because anyone on Facebook that does not agree with you can delete them. Is that it's possible now? You can delete them. So people are creating a monster world that they don't associate anymore. Ask my family. Anytime we go to eat, and it's important, and I think it, it, it's worth doing, families must come together. Families must come together. This one is eating in the bedroom. This one is eating in the storeroom. This one is eating in this place. This one is eating in this place. I think we must bring back family. Those of you that are fathers, those of you that are mothers, we try to do that every Sunday, but it's, I'm so tired sometimes. You understand? But I've come to find out, like, I have Jackie is with me, Pat is with me. I, every evening, I call them into my room, to my own bedroom. Whether you like it or not. And in that bedroom, nobody answers phones. Nobody, you don't dare use your phone. You don't even come. We talk for one hour. We laugh. We're family. There is no high person, no low person in my eyes. I've always felt that everybody's equal in the eyes of God. People just do service. Obviously, they respect me as the head of the home. But we sit down, every, I say every night. We talk to one another. We laugh. We, we gist. We, you know, while we're talking, some people are even tired. Okay, we go. For, what are we, we are building bonds together. So we, I think it is important that we open ourselves to friendship. Before he flips on us, but he must notify him. That's the last time you shouted at us.
this side. This one, yeah. Like this. Away from ATV. Don't worry. Oh yeah. One day is one day. How do I put it on? Oh, this thing. Pla- yeah, you just pin it somewhere there. Like this. No. Up. It needs muscle. Put it up. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. No. Oh uh, okay. Then you hide this cable. Tracy can't hear you at all. Mm-hmm. Huh? No? No? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 From my earpiece and somewhere else. Remove this. <laughs> From here. Yeah. Thank you so much. I was like, yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, <laughs> did you check them, girl? Aren't you supposed to be drinking coffee? No. no. <laughs> this is an energy. This is oh. just intro. It's supposed to be. Mm. I'm looking for testimonies, so I could believe them. Did you test your mics? Yeah. <coughs> is there a way that I can just reduce this volume? Yeah, there is. Okay, it says 30 seconds. Okay, it's 10 now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 10. the ATV studios it's yet another day and today being the 20th of May 2018 honor thank you so much for tuning in to all our loyal viewers it is an absolute pleasure to have you every single time and always 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 beefing up our reviews now thank you so much for joining us and today being another service I pray that you will be blessed I pray that you experience the love of God the peace of God that surpasses all understanding and whatever you are going through in life I pray that God will just minister to you that you will grab on something on what God is doing in this place if you couldn't make it today I pray that you just tune in. Remember, distance is not a barrier. Now, my name is Tracy, and today I am joined by uh, the studio guests. Well, my co presenters well. I've got Sister Melissa mm-hmm. and Brother Zephaniah. Good, e- good morning. How are you guys? I'm very well, thank you. And how are you? Very well, thank you. Brother Zephaniah, thank you so much for joining us right here in the studios. How are you doing? I'm very well, thanks in yourself, Tracy. Very well, thank you. Now, you know, I, I just wonder, what are your expectations today? <sighs> Something that came to mind is that we've been doing the season of favor. Yes. And now we're drawing to the end of the month. And you know that God has the specialty of saving the best for last. Wow. So as you're drawing to a peak, I'm expecting more and more and more. Amen. I'm sure you've heard for yourself. He says that we're drawing to a peak and it's the end of the month. And he says that God saves the best for the last. Sister Melissa, what is it that you're expecting God to do for you today? I'm expecting, I'm very expectant today. Um, and I believe that God is going to do a lot of things for, um, for me today, you know, individually, because we always talk about even if you are serving in the house, it's important that when you come to church, you come and you receive for yourself. So as a worker, I'm coming to receive from the Lord. And I know that this, um, the anointing that rests upon our Father in the Lord, Dr. Ida Pidesad, it is so real. And, you know, what surprises me every Sunday is people that 
that come in, you know, different people that come in, and when they come in, the first thing that happens is they receive. So as a worker, I'm coming to receive. I'm not just coming to just serve, but I'm coming to receive. So this morning, I don't know who is believing God for a miracle, but for myself, I'm believing God for a breakthrough in my life. You're believing God for a breakthrough, mm. and I, I believe that that is the heart's cry, the yearning of many, many countless of people out there who are saying, God, I just need another touch from you. I need you to give me something. I need a breakthrough. I need to, I need to be connected to you. Now, a whole lot of exciting things have been happening the past few Sundays, and last week's Sunday was one of them. Now, let's just recap on last week's Sunday's message. Sister mm -hmm. Melissa. Last week's Sunday message was very, very powerful, you know, for me, especially when it comes to the deliverances, to the prophecies, you know, it's, um, it's amazing when you, you serve the man of God Monday to Friday, and suddenly, you know, um, when you come on a Sunday, it's a different ball game. He begins to prophesy. He speaks into oh, people's yeah. lives. Mm -hmm. And these are the things that we see, and it is so, so power packed. For me, there's always a deliverance. Mm -hmm. Brother mm -hmm. Zephaniah, yes, what is it? What is it that, what, what, that you took from last week? We were still in favor that breaks protocol. And there's nothing like it. When, when, you, when you hear about it, what God did for Joseph, what God did for David breaking protocol that um, we, as, we as people have our own thoughts. He says in, in Isaiah, he says that his thoughts are not our thoughts. Yes. So we are expecting God to bless first this particular individual and God goes to the very least. The same in the house of Jesse. He went for the least. Even Jesse forgot that there was a David when, when the prophet came in. So I'm, I'm, I'm loving these messages. You're loving these messages. I, I, I believe a whole lot of people are actually blessed by such messages right now, especially that message on favor and yeah. how he's now expounding mm. on the word of God and the truth yes. that says that this is mm. how God will intervene in situations. This is yeah. how God will bring breakthroughs in yes. people's lives. Absolutely. That God does not always operate yeah. in the usual, the mundane, yes. the ordinary. Yes. Yes. There is always something. He always comes through. Yes, yes. And while you're saying that, something that just pops into my mind is that it's also an encouragement for, for those guys that, that have been, been looked, looked down, that, that have been looked down upon. Absolutely. That God is concerned about you. That God can actually take you from the ash heap and put you on the, on the, on the highway, on the king's highway, put you wow. up with princes. Wow. You know, I, I, think of, I think of a story in the Bible, in the book of Samuel, you know, it talks mm. about Mephibosheth. Ah, yes, 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 yes. You know, being in a mm. situation of being displaced, being yes. um, unfortunate, you know, mm. in experiencing the most grueling, sad circumstances in his yes. life, yes. being looked down, and the next mm. thing, here he was, partaking on the king's table. Daily. Daily, you yes. say. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And we can also look at Esther. Mm. Yes. And... Um, What's happening, what's trending now is um, Prince Harry got married <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> you yes. know, and yes. I think that is also part of uh, breaking protocol because yes. who would have thought, you know? And it's only God that can do that, you know? Because sometimes you feel like, um, I don't think I, I, I'm able to get this iPhone. I don't think mm. I am, I, the favor of God is upon my life to live in a mansion. And we've seen where God breaks protocol in many people's lives. There are people mm. that have gone and looked at properties and said, I'm going to live in this house. And they actually got mm. that house because yes. it's God that does it for you. Because mm. in the spiritual, as our Father in the Lord always says, you step from the physical, you go into the spiritual, and you deal with that problem. So any problem that is hanging, remember mm. that there is a God that can break it. There's a God that can give you that divine favor with your boss, divine favor in your business. So it's that anointing that is resting here upon our Father in the Lord, Dr. Ida Pibisai, the miracle center. Absolutely, the miracle center. Now you've heard for yourself what it is, what we are talking about right now, trying to bring and to break that idea, the concept of protocol, 
trying to bring it to that understanding, the level of understanding where you can just partake in it. We really do not want you to miss this opportunity and even this wave of grace that is taking place right here in the Miracle Center. Now our contact area, like our location is kind of CR SWAT and Pretoria Road. If you want to make your way to this place, please come through. We would love to meet you in person. We would love to hear from you. We would just love to be with you and fellowship with you in the house of God as we just partake and tabernacle in his presence. If you would like to send us any information or any prayer requests, you can get hold of us on plus two seven seven nine six seven five six zero double eight. It's plus two seven seven nine six seven five six zero double eight. I said it right, right? Yes. And then also we are available on our social media platforms. That is Christ Ambassadors Church SA. That's on Facebook, Christ Ambassadors Church SA, or on Twitter. CAC Miracle C. connect even financially even by giving your seed it's that is connecting so there's many ways of connecting they're limitless you know you've just mentioned something you know you, you say that mm. even after away yes. from church yes you, you yes. connect how do you do that by um one of the things that you do lose by fire devotional yes. every morning you're connecting you're reading it you're still saying that i am part of this family and remember that Connecting at home is the best part because that's when the pastor is not there. That's when Melissa is not there. That's when you're on your own with God. Even when you're doing your morning devotions, even when um, you're going back on the word, when you're practicing the word. Actually, practicing the word is the most, I think, is the, is the key. When you're practicing it, you're showing God that I believe the word. You know, you've heard for yourselves, he emphasizes on a relationship with God, which is very active. One that you always water every single day of your life, every single moment, moment by moment. You are celebrating God. You are partaking. You are fellowshipping with him. The importance of spending time in the word of God. Now, Sister Melissa, spending time in the word of God on Wednesdays, we do have a service. Yeah, Every we week. Um, the man of God normally he teaches on a, on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And um, like he always says, that's when you see where, um, where, who the real Christians are. Mm -hmm. And on a Wednesday, you need to come and just, you know, come and get the word. And you hear our Father in the Lord. He's always ministering from a different angle. When mm -hmm. he begins, you, you sit down and you're like, I didn't know that was in the Bible. You mm -hmm. know, because nobody would read the Bible, but you don't really mm -hmm. understand it. And until he comes, you know, he's a teacher and he teaches very well. He flows, he's, he's a prophet, he's an apostle. So when you sit under great teachings, it's important you will grow because you will be like a tree that is planted by the riverside. Yes, yes. And if you do not come on Wednesdays to come and listen to the word of God, you won't have anything. You'll be dry. And when, when things have start happening in your life, you don't know where to turn to. But when it's when that time when you are faced with the situation, you remember the word. Dr. Ida Peter said, preach, and be like, no. I remember there's, a, there's that word, um, there's a message he preached, he said, it was not so. You yes, know, yes. so you remember, and if, if you are feeling you are sick in your body, be like, no, 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 no. 
it was not so in the beginning. Yes. God made me whole, you know, and it's a lot of messages, you know, so, and he's got messages where he preached by, where he said, um, the witch must die. Suffer not a witch to live. So there are things, maybe you're faced with um, some woman spirits, people are busy harassing you in your dreams. You say, no, every witch must, must die. Every arrow that is attacking you must back to sender. You know, you learn how to pray. You learn how you understand the different aspect of the word of God. So it's very important that people should come every Wednesday. Every mm. Wednesday. And Brother Zephaniah, on Saturdays, what do we have? Um, Saturdays at 8 o'clock, we have the Hour of Power. That's where believers come in. We gather the whole church. It's not for workers. It's not, for, it's not specific to anyone. We come in, we pray only an hour, and that's it. Now, what happens? You know, like we, we're having so many testimonies coming mm. up, you know, from, as a result of the Saturday's Hour of yeah. Power. But what yeah. is happening? <laughs> What is happening? I believe that it's part of connecting. That's when a lot of people, a lot of people are scared of prayer. When you say prayer, people back off. But if you say deliverance, if you say miracles, if you say uh, food puzzles, everybody comes in. Yeah. So when you say prayer, a lot of people back off. But during that prayer, that's when we connect. That's when we, he shares a little bit, but then the majority of the time, it's prayer. So when you come in, you are aligning. When you pray, you're drawing whatever miracles are still hanging in the atmosphere. Mm. You know, like, but, but also, for the viewers who've never been there, yeah. who've never attended the Hour of Power, yes. just describe, in a mm. nutshell, the mm. atmosphere. How is the atmosphere like in the room? Well, it's, to explain it in short, is the bishop would be in, on, the, uh, on the altar, yes. and he would say one prayer point, and then you just lose yourself in prayer. Wow. And what I love about, <laughs> I come from a different background. Yes. Where, where prayer used to be a bit conventional. Yes. You'd go on your knees, you'd go a bit quiet. Yes. You know, and then now all of a sudden you're praying out of the tops of your lungs. Wow. So when you're coming on Saturday, expect one thing, prayer. Pray. Nothing else. Nothing prayer, else. prayer, 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 prayer. You know, one of the things that I love about the Miracle Center is that you are taught to engage yes. for yourself. You know, like the spiritual reality is connecting with God. Mm. One of the things that I learned when I started coming here to the Miracle Center was that mm. I could feel God. Mm. God is real. He's not somewhere um, far-fetched where you have to always get someone to help you connect with Him. Mm. My, my relationship with God became so real, you know, understanding who I am in Christ that I can actually talk to God on my own. I can still stand and believe God for anything, for every breakthrough that I need. Mm -hmm. Now we've got an event coming up. This is next week mm -hmm. on the 28th of May and it's called Beauty for Ashes. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, every time I'm sure like most of our guests and our viewers right now, they always was wondering, where do we get all these, all these titles, all these services, all these mm -hmm. things, what really happens in the Miracle Center, Sister Melissa? Um, the vision of our Father and the Lord is um, he wants, um, th the Lord told him that he should set his captives free. Yes. Mm. And he believes that believers are supposed to be blessed, you know. And there are so many things that are happening <coughs> in the spiritual arena, if I may say, mm. that the enemy is using um, a lot of things, mediums, in order to capture people's destinies. So our Father in the Lord, he's going to be praying for people. And he has asked everybody to come and bring their own photo, to bring photos of their family members, be it your boss, if your boss is facing challenges, whoever it may be. This mm. is where they need to come and bring. You know, as you bring, you are being obedient to the servant. Yes. You know, as um, the Lord can say, simple instruction. Some people probably come and say, okay, I'm not going to bring my picture. But bring your picture and you see what God will do. I'm bringing my picture, I'm bringing everybody's pictures, everybody that I know, because I know a lot of people are facing challenges because of what's happening in the spiritual arena. So this is where people must come on the 28th. It starts at 6 p.m. Everybody is invited, and it's an open invitation for everybody that is facing challenges no matter what it may be. Now, that's an open invitation, but one of the other things that I also want to understand is what is the significance, what is the importance of carrying pictures, your photographs of yourself and your loved ones? 
Um, that we, we will hear from our Father in the Lord. It's an instruction, like I said earlier, that he's told us to do. We need to bring pictures. Like you said, remember the, there was, we had a let me pass service, it must bring apples, it must bring fruit. Yes. So it's an, an instruction. So he is going to explain why the Lord wanted us to bring pictures. So we, all we have to do is obey. Let us bring our pictures, come and see. And also, if people can engage in fasting, just believe, say, God, on the 28th, we are in the month of favor. People are believing God for greatness. If you know that you've never been favored in your life, we are still in the season of favor. Yes. No matter how it looks like the 28th, 29th, 30th, I'm almost, it's almost over with God. When God said, let there be the walls, and the word has been spoken, favor is still going to, you're still going to move in favor because it is a word that has been spoken by his servant and God has has already confirmed that a lot of people are being favored right now as we are speaking. As we are speaking, yes indeed. Um, Brother Zephaniah, you have attended most of these services, but what is something so special about it, especially when you hear beauty for ashes? Well, when you mention in beauty for ashes, I'm reminded of the book of Isaiah, where it mentions that God will give you beauty for ashes. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did to, um, to a lot of people in the Bible. To mention one, remember the lady that was bleeding for um, 14, I think it was about 14 about years? years. Yes. Yeah, she was bleeding. So you'd say that was ashes. It was, a, it's a, it was a, a bad situation, a situation that you're not proud of. And um, God gave her beauty in a sense that she's now spoken of throughout the whole world. And that would happen until the world comes to an end because it's written in the Bible. So for me, when you're saying beauty for ashes, you're telling me that God is going to take away the, 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 he's going to take away the ashes. He's going to take away all those bad things and then give me beauty. Now I'm, I'm also thinking, I, I should also read, you know, read the scripture. It's Isaiah 61 verse three, where this title, where this theme, beauty for ashes came, comes from. Yes. It says that, I appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Now I pray that you grab onto that promise that is beauty for ashes, that promise that says that God is going to transform whatever mess that is in your life. Now, if you've heard the instruction is that, please present, bring your family, your family photos as well as yourself. Just bring them. Now, I believe that it also means generational curses. It means, it means yes. the shame that has been thrown over your family. It means the disgrace. Yes. It means that if your lineage is now known for misfortune, yes. calamity, mm. pain, sickness, everybody just knows, oh, it's that family. This is what happens in them. This is what God wants to transform. He wants to destroy. He wants to take those ashes, mm. that situation that is say that this is now beyond repair. Mm. He wants to take it and he wants to transform it and yes. to exchange it for his beauty. Now, yes. the beauty of the Lord. The Bible says that we're made in his image. We're made wow. in his likeness. Yeah. It says everything about him is mm. beautiful. He yes. is he is majestic. He is splendor. Yeah. He, 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 is, mm. he is everything. Mm. Everything that is lovely. Mm. And the Bible says that, you know, the, the, the signature above us right now is the mm. banner of love. Yes. Now, wh what is it that you take on beauty? Beauty, I think, for me, is, you know, there are times when the Bible says that he raises, ki he raises kings and he brings down mm. kings. Yes. And he raises the poor from the dust. Yes. So poverty is not good um you know when when you are living in poverty it's bad and a lot of things can happen to you if you don't have the lord the beauty of the lord so it is very important for as, as a people for you to understand what beauty is it could be god wants to give you a beautiful house it could be god wants to give you a car it could be god wants to give you to beautify your marriage a lot of people's marriages has been um they are they're in prison you know, and there are people that cannot have children. There are people, a lot of things. So God, when he wants to give you beauty, when he wants to beautify you, there are a lot of things that he will do in order to beautify you. So people, I believe that as they come, as you come to this service um, on the 28th, you're going to be beautified. You know, when you are depressed, your countenance changes. And when God comes, God is going to come on, on the 28th. 
28th and he's going to beautify you and we're going to see our father in the Lord is going to minister to everyone and I know for myself my family is going to be set free so whatever it may be that you are facing right now in your family in your lineage it could be maybe you are just you just don't know what to do anymore you need to come to the service invite your friends invite your family and tell them to bring their pictures and if you're far away we are receiving pictures of people that are already tapping in to say, you know what, here's my photo, here's my um, photo of my family members, photo of my husband, um, photos of my sons. So there are a lot of people that are already sending in their pictures. If you're one of them and you're far away, make sure that you send your picture for the 28th of May service tag, beauty for ashes. And also we have anointed water every Sunday. So make sure that you come Today we're going to have anointed water. Next week, whatever it may be, if you need that water, sweetness in your life, come and receive the anointed water here at the Miracle Center. You know, I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited about what God is doing in every one of our lives. It's been an absolute, absolute privilege to always be in the presence of God where the anointing of God is flowing and ever saturating us in this atmosphere. Now, I've got another, another guest today. I've got a young person. Hello, thank you so much for joining us. Please tell us your name. Um, my name is Lisedi. Lisedi, tell us, how are you doing? Um, I'm blessed. You are I'm blessed. blessed. Now, you know, Lisedi, we are having this event coming up on the 28th of May. It's called Beauty for Ashes. What is your understanding about it? It's, it's just, you know, when you just hear those words, you just know it's going to be great, basically. You don't need more information, just know. When the man of God says something so beautiful, you know it's going to be amazing. You know it's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what is it that you're believing God for? As you're preparing your heart and your spirit for this event, what is it that you that? Exams are coming up. Just want to pass. <laughs> if I, no, um, like, especially the subjects that I struggle with. Yes. I, I, I told myself the subjects that I struggle with are the ones I'm going to get the highest marks for. Yes. So I believe that, that marks and, and I can be the highest in the class with such marks, then I know that God is here for me. God is there for you. Now, as a young person, and I believe that there are other young people who are watching you right now, and they're listening to you as you talk with such confidence and faith that God is going to come through for you in your schoolwork, which is the most important thing right now. How would you encourage them? Believe in God. There's nothing else you can do. Just believe, have faith, because he will do, he will do what, he, what he does for you. There's nothing that he can't do. Now, another personal question I want to ask you, Sadie, is why, why do you believe in God? You know, he's so young. Why do you choose God when you're so young? People say um, you can choose not to believe, you know. There's so many other gods out there, apparently. But I believe that a person that can, give, that can do miracles for others can do for you, you know. That's why I, I believe in God. I believe that if he can take a man on the street and make him a multi-billionaire, then he can take a teenager like me and make me uh, an international entrepreneur or whatever. You know? Absolutely. Is that one of your dreams? Um, singer and entrepreneur. Singer and entrepreneur. We believe that God is going to do that for you. And we believe that he will always make your path straight in life. Now, Christ Ambassador's Church, you also have a youth service that you all attend. Mm. Please share with the viewers. The only difference is that we have Pastor Judge, not Bishop Ida, but then it's it's like he's teaching us in a different way. He doesn't, and it's not like he doesn't minister every time, you know. He just shows us a different, like a different, um, a different way to look at things, you know. Another way to see things um, in the in the in the way of the Lord in the way of the Lord, which is more applicable to you as a young person. Now, viewers, you heard for yourselves, these are our young people who are on fire for God. They are being fed in the spirit, in the presence of God, the word of God, everything to know the truth that sets them free, that, that the only way, the only way to succeed in life is to have Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. 
Now I pray that you are encouraged as we are here this morning, as we are preparing you, you know, for the upcoming service that is about to start in a few minutes' time. Now we just want to emphasize once again, we are having an awesome, awesome service that is lined up for the 28th of May, 2018 at 6 p.m. That will be on a Monday. It's called Beauty for Ashes. It's one of those spectacular events where we just come together. Anybody is, is, is hunger and thirst that you have in, for God, for, for breakthroughs, for whatever you want him to do in your life, please make your way to this place. You are even being given a day when you get to fellowship in your own ministries on a Sunday. And on a Monday, you can actually come through to this place to just celebrate God, to celebrate God, to believe God. We want to unite our faith with your faith. Whatever it is that you believe in God for, just make your way. Come through to this place. If you have any other persons that you know they need to be here to just do that, please get in, invite them. Send your invites. And remember, the instruction is that you must bring your photographs. So carry your photographs. Now, if you won't be able to make it to this miracle center, you can actually partake with us. As we always say, distance is not a barrier. Grab your family photo album. Lay it in front of you. Go on your knees. Be in that prayerful worship mode as you partake, as you just celebrate God with us. We trust that God is going to do great and amazing things in your lives. Yeah, that is beauty for ashes. Yeah. Anything to reiterate, mm -hmm. uh, Sister Melissa? Yeah, they need to bring, they need to send the pictures. Um, like I said before, we do have people that are already sending their pictures. Um, it's important that they send it through to either pasaidagmail.com yes. or they can send it to our WhatsApp line, which is 079-675-6088 or they can actually inbox us on um, Facebook, which is Christ Ambassadors Church SA. We can do that. So make sure that you send your pictures through for the 28th of May service and you will see what God is going to do for your family, for your loved ones, for yourself. If you are feeling that you can't take it anymore, you know, this is where you say, this is your final bus stop. You say, enough is enough. I'm bringing my picture. I'm bringing my, in fact, just bring your whole family. Bring your grandmother. Bring your grandfather. Bring them for this service. And you will see what God will do for your family. Absolutely. And even as you prepare for this particular service, um, always be in a prayerful mode. It's a time of worship. As you've heard that your relationship with Christ is the most important. And as you're preparing, remember to always say to God, God, what are the ashes in my life? I just want you to sit down and just consider. Take note of anything that you say, this is beyond repair in my life. The ashes, the frustrations, the pain, the repetitious cycles that have been happening in your life, the heartbreaks, whether it's relationships, whatever it is, whether it's a relationship that is marred between a mother and a daughter, a father and a son, Whatever it is, whether you're at a place where you're saying, God, I I'm about to give up on God. We, we have a lot of people like that. They're saying, I I've been hurt. If God was there, this wouldn't have happened. Why me? Why did this happen to me? Now, just come with all that pain. Come with all that baggage. Come with all those ashes. Anything that you say is beyond, beyond repair, beyond human repair. Bring it to the Lord. We just want to invite you to come. Let us pray together. Let us petition heaven together. Whatever it is, just come as you are. Now remember, you can get a hold of us either on email that is pastorida at gmail.com, pastorida at gmail.com, or on Facebook that is Christ Ambassadors Church SA. Christ Ambassadors Church SA. Just like our page. Stay in touch with us as we always give you daily updates of what is happening in the ministry. Be it the word of God that has just been spoken or preached. Be it any other in invites or any other, any other information that you need to know to just boost your spiritual growth. Thank you so much for tuning in to all our viewers. Now, Sister Melissa, do you have anything for them as they connect, as they get ready to connect for the service today? Um, they might just remember that we have um, the anointed water service. So if you are coming or we are watching at home, make sure that you have the water ready and just tap in as our Father and the Lord will be praying for everyone. Believe God that whatever is, whatever we've eaten in your teens, whatever is not working, that God is going to add sweetness in their lives. If you just say the point, you're saying that if they can't be here, 
they can actually grab a glass of water at home, their own water, and just connect as the, as the water is being blessed. Uh, yeah, and, and we have people that actually, they travel all the way because of the uh, anointed water. They come with the sweet water. So they come and they say, you know what, I'm coming because I need, my, I need sweetness in my life. Things are not moving. Like uh, we just got a WhatsApp message from somebody say, from Nigeria and say, you know what, I need a miracle in my life. Um, she, was, she was a Muslim and every time um, a man wants to marry her, they run away. You know, so these are things that people are facing. So whatever it may be, take that water as, a, as our Father is preaching. Distance is not a barrier. So just drink that water and believe that God is going to take away all the, all the things that are blocking you. Be it a demonic blind or whatever it may be, God will do it for them. You know, I, I, I would love to believe that like anything else, it's a point of contact. As a believer, in terms of faith, it's a point of contact. It's not a doctrine that we have created. Not at all, but it's basically an instruction from the Lord.
you. That is the greatest commandment, Lord. I bring myself unto you. I worship you. I glorify you. I praise you. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, Holy God, I worship you. I praise you. I glorify you. My soul inside of me worship you. Everything that is inside of me worship you. I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for so many things you've done for me. Thank you for the smallest thing you've done for me. Thank you for the biggest thing you've go- you done for me. Thank you for what you're going to do for me this morning. Lord, I worship you. Thank you, Almighty God, for your grace. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your hand over me. Thank you for your hand over my family. Thank you for your hand over the church. Thank you for your hand, Lord, over my business. Thank you for your hand over my cars. Thank you for your hand over me. I worship you. I glorify you. I praise you, Heavenly Father. I worship you. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Oh, the Almighty God. We worship you, Lord. We glorify you, Almighty God. We worship you, Heavenly Father. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We worship you, Almighty God. We worship you, Almighty God. We glorify you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Let's dedicate this service this morning in the hands of the Lord. And so, Holy Spirit, be present here. Have your way. Let's pray for all the departments. Let's pray for Bishop. Let's pray for the Word of God. Let God increase Him. Let God save people. Let God heal people. Let God have His way. Let's bring this whole service in the hands of God. Everything that will be done here every department let's pray for the anointing of god to come down say holy spirit have your way have your way this morning we dedicate the service unto you let's pray let's pray let's bring the service this morning heavenly father we worship you lord we worship you we worship you almighty god we bring the service into your hands every department lord every pastor every department everything that will be done here have your way heal people restore people restore your people heal your people save your people we pray for your word let your anointing come upon your servant let your glory come upon your servant lord bless him increase him your word oh lord your word almighty god holy spirit move every seat every seat every seat every place lord this whole auditorium move be present do something supernatural do something lord supernatural do something out of the ordinary holy spirit let this be your service let this be your will almighty god in heaven we come against every power that's trying to disturb your service. We break it. We cancel it. We come against the plans of Satan. We break it. We bind it. We cancel every works of Satan. We send it back to hell. In the name of Jesus, we declare this place holy. We declare your presence, my God. We declare, Almighty God, have your way. Save save my fellow brother save my fellow sister lord bless us this morning let your favor come upon us in jesus name we worship you we glorify you lord in jesus name the last one let's just thank him say thank you lord you've heard our prayer thank you lord we must always every time you pray always say thank you jesus Always say thank you, Jesus, just like the man of God is doing in the house of the Lord. And then the choir will take over. Thank you, Almighty God. You've heard our prayer. Thank you, Almighty God. We believe you've answered our prayer. Thank you, Almighty God. We believe that you are here. Thank you, Almighty God. You're going to save people. Thank you, Almighty God. You're going to bless everyone that is coming into your house. 
Even those, Lord, that have obstacles to come to your house, release them, my God. Those that do not have petrol to come, release them to come. Those that are doubting to come, let them come, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Almighty God, for your grace. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you, my God, for your word says whatever we ask you in the name, we, whatever we ask the Father in the name of Jesus, we shall receive. Bless my God. Bless everything that will take place in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, keep jamming the hands of the glory of the Lord. Jump the hands of the King of Glory. He swear it to be praised. He swear it to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be in the presence of the Lord? The Bible says that in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. In the presence of the Lord there is deliverance. In the presence of the Lord there is healing. There is liberty in the presence of the Lord. Go make a joyful noise in the house. Hey. to me Jesus in every situation you are so good to me in every situation you have been so good yeah, 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 yeah. you are so good to me Jesus you are so good to me ah you are so good to me Jesus, you are so good to me. In all circumstances. In all circumstances. In all circumstances. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, you are so good to me. In all circumstances. In all circumstances. Good to me in 
Praise Him, 
praise Him. It doesn't matter what comes my way. The greater one lives inside. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Say, I'm born a winner. I'm born a winner. More than Victoria. More than Victoria. I'm the love is king. Say, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord.
Lion of Judah, we're ready for you. Lion of Judah, come forth, come forth and take us.
you to stand to your neighbor and just greet them and say welcome to the miracle center this morning he has to show up his bigness this morning he has to show up how great he is this morning just tend to them to say welcome to the miracle center and welcome to your miracle this morning I just want you to take your seats behalf of the father of this house, the angel of Christ Ambassador's Church, Dr. Ida Peterside, and his wife, Dr. Amy Peterside, I want to greet you all in the wonderful name of Lord Jesus Christ, and welcome you to your day of your own miracle, and welcome you to the miracle center. Somebody make some noise for your own miracle that is coming this morning. Come on, come on, come on. Some of you are doubting. This is the miracle center because you have entered your miracle is right on the plate. I want you to shout out for your own miracle. Stand up and shout out and say, I received my miracle this morning. I am in the miracle center. I received my miracle this morning. Our Father and the Lord, and have this beautiful wife, they've got a couple of books that they've written. I've got a book here, Victory Over Troubles. You might be having troubles in your life. Your victory is here. Read this book, connect to what the bishop says about being victorious over troubles. It's read at the back, they are available. We've got also this book written by Dr. Amy Peterside. Will I, get ev will I ever get married? It is not only for the married people. Your situation might actually need you to go back to the blueprint, which is this book, in your marriage, in your situation. So please, make way sometime today and get this book. It's an investment into your relationship. It's your investment into your marriage as well. They are all available right at the back. We also have got 101, Loose by Fire, a powerful book of prayer. That one is a given. Every Christ ambassador's Member should have that one. It's a loose by fire 101 prayer book. They are there right at the end as well. Our Father and the Lord, He writes prayer devotionals every month, every month, every day of your life. You need to connect to this book, connect to the angel of the house, what God has to say to you every day and every time. We've got a book that is also on sale by our Father in the Lord, Dr. Ida Peterside, which is loose by fire. Now we've got a march to April, we've got April, we've got even up to June now. Please make sure you buy this book. It's a day on day devotional book that you'll need to pray using and also get spiritual food from it. Somebody in the heart say amen. In today. Okay, some people are saying it low. I just say, this is for your own good. We've got the other book also. The world has gone so bad these days. There are false prophets everywhere. And you are being empowered.